see, this is Cool Addy. Cool Addy's another one of those guys. The kind of guy you don't want to be. You don't want to be that fucking guy that sucks of every character but uses every character. He has no definitive character of his own and he just sucks with everyone. And he just keeps jumping around and around and it's, it's a waste of time. And nobody wants to play this guy because he just uses shitty moves of every character and doesn't learn the character in any depth. It's a waste of time. I was going to use my Akira on him. I was like, why bother? He's not worth Akira because like, he uses, he's just saying, he uses Jackie. But he doesn't, he doesn't do any of the real good moves. He doesn't do the, the E.A. Gary combo setups. He's using Garbin. He keeps using Jackie. He does not do E.A. Gary. Like, why are you using Jackie for? And he uses Kage. He's not good with Kage. He's not good with the, the Shippujin, Shippujin stance. He's not good with anything good in Kage. You know, he knows the, the basic stupid shit. He knows the frame trap and some other crap. And he doesn't know anything good. He doesn't even know any good combos. He's, I don't know, he's... He's really, really, really bad. He doesn't know any of the, the more nuanced moves of um, Kage or the setups, you know, the mind games. He's really average, like below average, really. And he just got crush group, man. Now you got crush group. And that was a rising mid kick crush group, motherfucker. That is like the pinnacle of crush groups, okay? That's a two frame crush group. Okay, the window to get that off is two frames, and he got nailed really bad. So after that, it was just downhill from there. Now he just, he's just running scared now. And he's just, and it's really sad because he's in the top tier SS character like Jackie. And getting his ass kicked really, really bad. It's embarrassing. And he thinks he's going to keep using that stupid little gimmick. See, that's the thing with him. He's trying to use a gimmick. He's trying to use that stupid little setup. But, uh-uh, that, that two-hit string. And then he's going to keep doing it? You got it off twice and that's it. That's it for the rest of the match. The rest of the round. Okay, I'm not I'm looking for it. Now I'm going to set you up. And then he just likes to press buttons. I messed up the damn finisher. But... He just likes to press buttons. I knew he was just going to press buttons. So, he got hit with Death Scythe. He had disadvantage. Okay, it's a counter hit. And I need the counter hit to get the, um, the stun. The head, the head knockdown. The hard knockdown. And, you know, the um, head stun. You have to get a um, uh, counter hit. And that's what happened. He got that off. A stomp. Well, congratulations. He got a stomp. But I knew he was just going to persist to press buttons when that one that kick missed. Watch him press another button. So, he's a punish him. One, two. You're done. And see... That other guy, Juice Box, he's asking, oh, what can I do with Akira to, to punish? Like, block and punish after I block? It doesn't matter if you have advantage after you block. That's This whole game is fucked up. And block doesn't matter anymore. The most you can get out of block is, like, punch kick most of the time. Only time you can really punish is if you land a hit. If you get blocked, it's nothing. They'll keep pressing buttons. Because most likely it's a block string because this game's full of stupid block strings now. You have to fucking hit somebody. And then once they're at disadvantage in that situation, then... Hit them with a mid, because most likely they can do something stupid. They can try to be a low punch or something. And if they're negative five, most likely a 16 frame elbow is going to stop everything. They only the other options to do in that situation is either block, or block, or try to evade. They can't fuzzy at negative five. Okay, so it's like eh. they're going to be fuzzy when they're at negative three or negative two. Anyway, it's just, it's just stupid, true fuzzy anyway. But, um, yeah, so just try go for the whiff. Don't go for block and punish. This game is not, that's not that type of game anymore. It's not 1995 or 1997 at, at best with uh, VF3. Block and punish is an old thing. That's old school. Okay, I mean, being there using Akira, you think, you're thinking old school, but don't think old school even if you are using Akira. You just gotta whiff punish people now. So look for wave dashing and whiff punishing.